Okay, welcome. Welcome everyone. We're past the big hump of the road. So the fabrication is all done. Now we're gonna start on the weathering. This dress is gonna be so fun to weather because I get to just like chop it up and just put so much like dirt and grime into it, especially the bottom of the skirt and the petticoat especially. Like I'm so excited to dirty up that petticoat. So the first thing I'm actually gonna do is cut the petticoat to the same angle and then we're just gonna like get really choppy with the bottom of the dress and then um we're gonna get some paint on it some powder some like literal dirt from outside yeah so i'm just gonna get scissors and get choppy with it and i'm very excited it's like payback for all of the torment that it gave me. Um, the one piece of the petticoat here is still pinned on, so yeah, I don't, I don't really care about it though. I'm just gonna leave it like that, honestly, for now. I'm gonna cut the layers separately. I'm really trying to make the cuts as ragged and jaggedy as possible. Also. Oh, I got some good edges on that one. I'm gonna safety pin on the other one. I guess, you know what I could do? I could just, I could just finish the petticoat. At least, I could at least get that like hand stitched on. Fine, fine, I'll work on the petticoat. While I was finishing this petticoat, I just put a garbage bag on the, on the top and the bottom. I was hoping they would meet in the middle, but they don't. So um, it's fine, I'm just gonna sacrifice the pole to the paint. But I'm gonna put this on and then put the dress back on and then we'll keep cutting. I put a, a waistband on it, just cheap and easy. And then this will stay open because it's underneath, so it doesn't really matter. And then I didn't do the closure, so they're safety pinned together. And then I sewed that bottom little floofy on. So we're gonna keep um, cutting the bottom. Yeah, but that's basically what I did. I'm feeling really good about everything that I just kind of chopped. Like I basically, I, I'm sure I explained it. I just took the edges, I just chopped them off. So now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna just really rough it up. And I'm gonna do lots of like vertical cutting. Like I'm probably gonna be like pulling and just like chopping. Really making it look like it's been in a war, you know? Like lots of uneven edges, lots of like snaggly spots. You gotta go for like one of these. Oh, that worked out really nicely actually. What if I just go like this? Nice! And I especially gotta do this on the petticoat. The petticoat is like trashed. Oh, I like that. I like that. Well, if every floor that I owned wasn't covered in sequins already, now it really is going to be. Okay, I'm especially gonna go around like the entire bottom piece and tear up that edge, like the entire bottom edge. Okay, so as I'm going around the dress, I'm kind of going, what makes sense here? Okay, so there's this kind of abrupt stop on this ruffle here where it's like really nice and then it's like it just like ends right there so i'm just gonna like 
almost blend it, the tear in further along the side. So it is more like consistent. And I'm also kind of going along these shorter edges and going, okay, well it wouldn't just like abruptly end right here after this tear. It would be like a little bit torn for like a ways afterwards. So like that makes more sense for it to kind of like gradually like be torn up than to just like abruptly end when you have another piece starting, if that makes sense. And then I'm also kind of going in and like making some areas like higher toward and others like lower. Um, just, you know, to make sure everything makes sense. Uh, yeah, so like this, this one, I didn't even touch which granted it is one of the higher ones, but I'm just gonna give it like a little bit right along this edge here. I really like where we're at. Um, I'm gonna pin up the red dress just so that I have easier access to the petticoat because I wanna like use a an exacto knife and like string it and just slash at it so i'm going to clean up a bit and pin this part up to work on the petticoat <laughs> I think I'm happy with the petticoat. Um, I feel like I was using like a lot of like random techniques and stuff. I was just kind of going crazy with it. I was trying to get like more tearing, but it didn't really want to tear. Of course it like tears there now. And I wanted it to like be a cheaper material than it is. <laughs> Before I go too crazy and too far with it, let's bring down the top and let's get like a base layer of grime and dirt on. I mixed up just this spray bottle with mostly water and then a little bit of black and brown acrylic paint. And I'm hoping this will give me like a nice kind of like dirtying spray that can just like dull down a bit of the shine. Oh yeah, okay, I'm seeing it on the petticoat. I'm not really seeing it on the rest of it though. Oh yeah, okay, now I'm seeing it. Now I'm seeing it. You can see where I hit the petticoat right here, just barely. So it's getting like a spotty, grimy look. So yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna hit like the entire skirt with this and just try to like dole everything down. I maybe should hit the petticoat first, but it's too late. We'll spray the skirt and then let it dry and then spray the petticoat. But like you can't see anything, so you don't really need to watch it. Okay, I sprayed everything and I had like half of it left. So I put a lot more paint in it, but I don't know if you can see this little spot where I sprayed it, but it was like, it's like the perfect amount. So if I just go like, we're gonna get this like dirty edge so quickly. I'm gonna say we let this dry for the night. Now it looks gorgeous. Let me get you a close up. Okay, it literally like, oh, it's, Gorgeously dirty. Okay. So I did like a couple spritz like upwards. You can see some spots here and there. Just to get like splatter. Because there would be like mud splattering upwards. And then I didn't really do anything on the top yet. I th I've been thinking about doing dried blood on the top. Um, I know I'm going to do dried blood like on my chest like blood splatters. But... I think that's good for now, and then once that is dry, 
I got this whole kit of weathering schmears and powders and stuff that works wonderfully um, that I'm going to take onto it. And then I also want to hit the petticoat more with more of this stuff. Probably water it down like a little bit more because that is definitely very dark, but let's see. Oh yeah, that looks fantastic. This is going wonderfully already and I've just started. So this edge dried a little bit lighter, but it's also like a little like stiff, obviously, because of the paint, um, which is fantastic. I actually love that. It's gonna make it like hang in a very specific way. But now, for now, I wanna focus on the petticoat and getting it all nice and nasty as well. So I took our same paint solution from yesterday and I added a little bit more water to it so it's not quite as dark. But honestly, this color is fantastic. Yeah, but I just wanna avoid like these really like spotty spots. So that's why I watered it down a bit more for the white. Um, and then I'm gonna go in, just dirty the crap out of it. Cause it, like it's white, it'll be the most dirty looking part of the dress. And then I'm also gonna go in on like the top two layers and anywhere that isn't like trimmed to be like roughed up, I'm gonna trim off the stray edges, the fraying and hit it with the lighter to melt the edge just so that we have like some crisp edges like underneath where it's supposed to still kind of be nice. Yeah, but that's the plan for right now. Um, and then after that, I'm gonna go in on like the inside of the bottom edge and on the edge and everything. And I'm gonna use all of the schmears and powders and stuff that I have. Well, not all of them. Like I don't need sweat stains on the bottom, but you get me. Okay, I laid out some like newspaper junk mail and then I'm focusing on the very bottom edge. So the edge that's like closest to the ground because um, that's gonna be the most dirty edge. So when you're weathering, you want it to make sense, kind of. Like you want it to be dirty, but you also want it, you want it to make sense. So this edge is closest to the ground. We know that she's been running around in mud and there was an explosion so there's gonna be some like ash and like they it got rained on so everything is gonna kind of like running down so we're dirtying but it's gonna make sense if that makes sense so i'm gonna use the schmears and i'm gonna use paint and sponges and brushes and just like a lot of different techniques probably more of this as well because this is like goes crazy that's a game changer i love that but yeah so i just gotta start start dirtying i'm gonna start probably like over here and figure out some techniques that work and then like work them around the dress so i did from like here to here and i think it looks really good like honestly the darker it is the better i think i need to do the inside obviously i really like the way it turned out so i'm gonna set up my tripod to do like this little section over here so you guys can see what I did. It was just a lot of like trial and error and putting stuff on and then blending it in and then being like, okay, well that worked. So let me like add more and then like slowly like building it up the dress and and yeah. And then the final thing that I did, which is gonna lighten up was like here. I just hit it with the good old acrylic paint wash. It looks, it's very like, dark in person but it also looks slightly different on my camera monitor so oh look there's powder that didn't get blended in okay well that's good to know okay i'm gonna adjust everything and then show you guys how i did it though okay don't forget your gloves oh man my box of pens and other such things okay i'm gonna lay out enough to reach like at least four layers. I've been using mostly black and dark umber schmears. These ones. And then I take the rotten fuller 
up. And then I also hit it with the Raw Umber um, powder, but I did just realize that it's just going straight through everything. And it was just like sitting underneath here. Yeah, like look, there's more that just didn't get blended in. So the first thing I was doing was flipping up this layer and this layer. Oh my goodness, this stuff is just everywhere. And then flipping up the mesh. It's sticking to my freaking gloves. Okay, and then I like taking the black and just like smearing it on the screen. And I'm trying to coat like all of the sequins. Okay. And then I take some of the burnt umber. And I do like the same thing, but more sporadically. And I like to like drag it down the ruffles um, because like in the real world, it wouldn't be like all kind of like perfectly coated. Okay, and then I was using both a sponge and the brush. The sponge works better, but it's harder to use than the brush. The brush kind of like is nice after everything's kind of smeared in and blended. So I just kind of like, I'm hitting the spots where I can like see that there's a lot built up and I'm just trying to like blend it in so that there's less transfer. Now I'm going to go back in with more burnt umber and like any of these like lighter spots, I'm going to just cover it up and make sure that the edge is really covered. And then I'm going to go in with the rotten fuller and like it adds a little bit of like lightness to it. So I'm just barely going in with that one and then blending it again. Okay, and now I'm gonna flip it down and basically repeat the same thing on the mesh, but like lighter. Okay. And a problem that I'm having over here that I need to touch up is that this like top little section where this folds over isn't getting it any like anything on it. It's still this like bright red. So I'm gonna hit it with the burnt umber. Okay. And I also want more of this. I'm gonna hit this one with the brush. That's basically the same thing, it's just easier. I'm gonna pull all of these layers down. And I'm gonna take mostly the rotten fuller and just like drag it down like three layers worth. And I'm also gonna go in with burnt umber, mostly on these lower layers. I'm gonna go in with the brush again and just try to blend it downwards. Okay, I wanna hit more here. It's a darker color. Basically just gonna um, keep adding more until it feels even with what I did over here. <laughs> Trial and error. Now I'm gonna take the powder, it's in like a little bag, and I'm basically just gonna barely pull it out and then like tap it. Oh god, it's gonna freaking fall out. 
Okay. Now I'm going to take the brush. Give a little taps and swipes. So you can see exactly where it went through. And I'm just going to blend in the powder into the satin lining. I'm going to take baby powder and just like tap it. Oh, that was more than I wanted. Like tap it. And this gives kind of like a nice Once you brush it away. I'm taking this up higher than everything else as well. Okay. I definitely got too much right there, but I'm kind of brushing it off the top and anywhere that I got too much, I'll brush brush it off the sequins. But otherwise, I feel like it it looks really nice on top of everything else, like ash. Alright. Ta-da! Okay, time to rotate and do the rest, but that's how I'm doing it. Um, if my camera would focus, I hit the inside of the bottom with a little bit of like super watered down paint, as well as I also hit the seams. My camera's literally moments from dying. I'm gonna spray the skirt down with just water and a spray bottle, and then I'm gonna let everything dry. I also did some paint on the edge of the petticoat. Um, that's drawing for now. And then I'm gonna finish up the petticoat and I'll show you how. But I literally, I just watered down brown and black paint, mixed them together. Okay, I took a break while the paint dried to watch um, Valorant Grand Final Champions. So this is where we're at with this dress. I think the paint is dried. Oh yeah. I don't, I don't know if it really even did anything. It was like so watered down, but um, now the inside is looking a little, a little grimy as well. And then the petticoat. So it was super weird to paint actually, but um, it's dry now. I need to fix up the inside cause that looks insane. But also like this fabric just refused to accept the water. So I don't know. Um, but I need to finish up the petticoat and then I think we're like done other than like the hand sewing. But uh, other than that, like this costume is done, which is crazy, right? Like that's, that's crazy. Okay, but I'm gonna show you what I'm doing with the, with the petticoat now, let's finish her up. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is this edge with the lighter because I didn't I didn't do it yet so I'm just gonna kind of trim it and also I kind of got paint everywhere earlier <laughs> I got all the layers which is fine it's not that big of a deal and then we take the lighters And it just gets like a nice little crispy edge. You just want to be careful with these lighters because this gets really hot. Um, so it's sometimes nice to have like two or three on hand. This, this is a great way to finish um, edges, but don't forget it really only works on like polyester. If you try this on cotton or any other natural fibers, it's just going to burn it. If it's a synthetic, like nylon or polyester, it'll melt it like this. So, don't forget. That's also, you know, a good way to figure out what your fabric is made of. Okay, to fix the inside, make it look a little less crazy, more like this. Your palette, black. Two slightly different colors of brown that really when they come out of the bottle, they look the same, and gray. This is just super cheap, like, acrylic paint. I, I literally, I think I acquired it from, like, a children's set. A little bit of gray. And then just so much water. This is my leftover water from earlier. But 
I'm gonna mix that and then put a little bit in here and then just add more water than you think is actually necessary. I'm really trying to water it down. Okay, and then I'm gonna wet this. Oh, I think this side's gonna accept the paint better because of like the makeup of the material on this side. The other side was like super like hydrophobic. Like it did not wanna take in the water. So my water cup is basically just like the paint put exceptionally watered down. So I'm just gonna try to get like as best a gradient as I can. And I'm, I definitely need more water. And I think I'm gonna take it up like this far. I'm painting with watercolors over here. So don't forget, your grime is gonna build up in seams. It's like a magnet for dirt and, and nasty. Okay, the areas where it's like kind of absorbing into the material look fantastic, I think. I'm going to hang this up for like five seconds and see if it'll like drip a little bit after spraying it. Like spraying it is kind of getting it to, to like sit nicely. It's like literally the favorite, my favorite thing that I've learned working in costumes. Like a dry cleaning hanger, safety pin, through the waistband, through the like top, stabbed myself, don't do that. Just on two sides, like that. Oh God, don't hit your light. I need a different spot to hang this. It's gonna make like the biggest mess. Okay, it's been a full week since that last clip. I'm pretty sure it's done. I just wanna make sure that everything is like evened out. So like there's a, there was a couple spots kind of like here where you can barely see it, like s the paint on one side seep through the other. And it's just like uneven and I don't love the way that it looks. So I've kind of just been using, um, like spraying it with water fully and trying to get it to like drip off, um, especially on the inside. That one's like, those are like the worst lines, which shouldn't be as noticeable when the dress is on. And I'm absolutely being a perfectionist right now, but like, I just wanna make sure that everything is even and like looks semi-nice. So I've just been like spraying it with water, spraying it with the watered down mix of paint, spraying it with more water and trying to get everything to like run and blend as best I can. I think that's pretty much done. Um, I'm finishing up the red dress now, so. I'm gonna be able to finish it this week. So I just went in and I sprayed it with um, the watered down paint and then I sprayed it again with water and I just like soaked it. But the blackout lining material is like super hydrophobic on this side. So I have to like soak it, soak it to get it to like go into the fabric and not just run straight off. But that's basically trying, like how I'm trying to even everything out. Like up here on the top too. Yeah, I just don't want anything that's like hidden under the layers being too clean, you know? I was literally waiting for paint to dry, so I put in all of the hook and eyes. So I have three here on the inside and then three on the outside, so it'll keep the overlap closed. And then I also just have one here for this layer. And then I just sewed the this layer shut and it'll act like a, like a stop for the zipper, so. Yeah, so it'll look like this when it's all done. It was really hard to get this hook and eye specifically done up. This one's a lot further in. And then I think I definitely wanna steam this, like pin it and like steam it so that it'll hopefully 
stay in place, but I think I'm gonna maybe hit the bottom with more water and more of the watered down spray. And then I think I'm actually gonna hit like the skirt. Usually I'd use like a matte spray paint to keep like all of the powder and stuff in place, but I don't have that. So I'm gonna hit it with a light dusting of hairspray, I think. I think that'll work. Okay, I hit it with more of the paint. You can see like a couple little splotchy spots. I, I was trying to focus up on top more, but I also added more baby powder that you can just barely see in it. Here's a good spot where you can really see like, I'm trying to give it more ash look. Like, cause there literally was an explosion. So there should be, you know, a little bit of ash on the dress. But this is where we're currently at. I'm gonna let everything dry and then I'm gonna put the petticoat back on underneath because then I think it's like done. The dress is also super crooked on the dress form. I've just noticed it's so crooked. Oh my God. Okay. Yeah, we have to, everything has to dry again. <laughs> literally, literally finishing up this costume is just watching paint dry, LOL. So that is gonna actually wrap up this episode. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the weathering. It really is just about making sure that your costume and your cosplay fit in the real world. Um, like stuff is like nice and clean and like pristine in the real world, but not all the time. When you really think about it and you're like, bro, this dress went through so much shit. There's no way there's not like blood splatters and like <laughs> torn shit and ash and mud and, and alien goo all over it so don't be afraid to get your costumes very dirty i'm gonna i'm gonna put in a, a close-up i think it looks absolutely fantastic it turned out so well it's unreal like okay it has like a couple issues and spots but overall i think it's absolutely fantastic so i hope that you guys enjoyed this episode i hope you learned something um, I certainly learned something, and I think it's how much I freaking hate the fabric that I chose for the petticoat. I think that's what I learned, honestly. I mean, it looks fine under there, whatever. If you liked the video, please like it. Comment if you have any questions or if you want to know more. Um, this is not how I do my weathering all the time, I will say that. I rarely use the schmears and the powders and stuff. I normally just use acrylic paints and baby powder. Baby powder is a game changer, let me tell you. Also, hairspray, and just like like dulling spray in general, fantastic. Also, like real dirt from your garden. But that's it for me. Um, if I am less active, it is because I have gone back to work and I'm working full time again, more than full time, and um, I am working until the new year. So if I go inactive, that is why I'm going to try to do my best. I know I'm going to have at least two more videos in this series um, with this dress. And then we should also have a vlog from Every Day of Fan X coming. As well as I think I'm going to try to do um, a video on my Barbie costume. I have an idea for Classic Harley. Um, upgrade video and then I have a couple of original design ideas that I'm gonna try to maybe do while I'm also working but if you're really trying to hit me at, like catch me catch me on Instagram um, I'm also fairly active on Twitch I'm gonna try to stream every day that I'm not working or the days that I maybe only work like half a day I'm gonna try to get that in there but it's just getting back into the groove of like working while adding content to it yeah and um but please like comment subscribe i love all of you little subscribers i get so happy every day that i'm checking i see my shorts went up and i see how like oh i got like five subscribers today it, it makes my day so just hit that subscribe button it's free it doesn't cost you anything you can always unsubscribe later um but yeah i hope i hope you learned something i hope you enjoy the video there's like this weird tuck right here that I don't, I don't like it. Okay, I, thought, I just need, I need to stop looking at it. So I'm just, I'm going, I'm, bye.
Bye.